Welcome back to Vanny with Ada's channel. Well, guess what Ada is? Don't ask me. I got lost because I haven't been here in woo, woo, some years. Um, I got lost going. I was supposed to be on the left side of the highway, but I said, wait a minute. It, it ain't, I don't, I, you know, I, I, it's been some years, guys. But this is a rest area. And that way, I could do whatever the heck I want to do. I can cook. I, can, I don't have to be watching. Even if I was boondocking elsewhere, I can still do what I want to do because I'm very stealthy. But today is more stealthy and you don't really have to worry about any issues because I'm on a rest area. Guys, the wind is blowing like there's no tomorrow, okay? Um, it's a little chilly, so I want to test out how my my um my um um my heating canisters on the um on the eh, de, 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 you know the the candle holder yeah that's what i was trying to say so guys there are some vehicles like way on the other side um, there is a couple of vans with their lights on and whatnot from inside. You can see inside, okay? They're just regular, uh, the bigger size van, but they don't have any covers on. Oh, God, that wind is blowing up in here. But, you know, I got to open up for ventilation because I will be turning on, uh, the heating canister on the, um, candle holder. So, I, after, uh, I was home, I was just watching TV and the same old nonsense. I mean, it, TV channels ain't gonna give you a damn thing. So I don't want to waste my time. But anyway, it was the same thing I, I well, that was there last time I turned the TV on, so I, I forget about it. So I went to the store and came back home, and I was getting ready to lay down, guys. What? What? <laughs> and I said, you know what? No. It's a good day to get out. It's a good day. Um, it's chilly. It's chilly. The wind in the highway dances your car, okay? This is you. I mean, you got to hold on to the steering wheel on these winds, okay, that are blowing the way they are blowing today. So, guys, um, uh, it seems like the Wi-Fi here is kind of low. Even on my phone, I don't know why. I should have five bars up there, but it was telling me that it was on a, a slow bed. So I don't know if I would move. Can you hear the wind, guys? Oh, you gotta listen. You gotta hear this. Well, it's not just the wind. It's the airplanes. Let me give you a, a better look, guys. Um, I'm over here in Yonders, okay? I'm about 10 miles from home. But I said, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do Let's get out of here, okay? We all prepared and went. Oh, I did bring the 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 dresser uh, thing um, back in here. That'll, that'll, you know what? I thought I didn't need it, but you know what? It's truly needed. Gosh. I think you can hear the wind, guys. Not the, not the back window. Dang. As the cars pass by, you can hear that wind just uh, blowing. So anyway, guys, we are going to spend the night right here. And let me show you what's around. Let me show you what's around, guys. Okay, guys, so there's the highway. Okay. There is a... Uh, um, Exxon gas station? Is that what I'm seeing up there? Guys, I have no idea. Let's see if I can get a close-up. I think it's at Exxon. Well, you can't see it, but I can see it. It says Exxon. So, there are a couple of cars um, parked down the road. Okay, down this end. I'm all the way left. I'm over at, the, at this other end. And then there's this knuckle. There's a Sunoco gas station. Ooh, my window is terrible. There's a Sunoco gas station there. 
There's a diesel truck pumping in the, uh, um, the, uh, the diesel, right? The diesel, yeah. They have a mechanic shop also. Oh, they all hooked up. And this place here, it has a bus stop for people that are going to Atlantic City. Uh, you know, all those places. So, guys, look at that. It's a big parking lot, but it's from... There goes another car parking. Okay, he's parking all the way down here. And it's very far from... Very far from the um the restaurants they have here they have a sabaros they have a like a coffee place um let's see if he gets out of his car there's a coffee place it's a sabaros pizzeria and when i was i got lost guys so what i did was i went down that highway instead of staying to my left i would have got off at the exit um right over here i would have entered right through there but I, I wasn't sure, so I was on my right. I thought the, the, I thought this stop was on the right side, but no, it's on your left side. So I had to go a couple of miles up ahead of the highway, and then it directed me to get off on another exit and then make a left, and then I got back on the same highway, but I had to pay $2 at the toll. I wasn't supposed to pay the two dollars at the toll if I was in the right lane, because it said all, um, like to continue on, it was um, you you stay to the right lane if to um, um, uh, what do you call it um, like close by me uh, you know that area, then you would um get on the right lane to pay the toll and continue on on this main highway this is a highway that'll take you to all the way south jersey all the beaches and everything you want to see this is the highway right here i mean one of them so um i when i came back i came back up from this way damn my windows are really bad lord have mercy um so yeah so when i go back home i'll be taking that highway up the other way and then i just i know where to get off okay so when i was coming this way it was like a heartfelt feeling because i said oh no i can't do this i was gonna go to walmart i was gonna i was gonna continue straight and just go to walmart because it just takes you off the road and back on the other highway and you go around and you wind up at walmart i said nah i don't want to go to walmart so it was really heartfelt because my youngest military son used to work for Sabaros here for a couple of years before he worked for the uh, that big sh uh, ship, um, the Cornucopia. Um, it's 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 stationed in um, in uh, Perth Amboy, and um, it goes all the way down the harbor to New York. So. He, he worked since he was 14, too. He got working papers, and he started making his little money. Oh, look at the little heart I drew earlier for y'all. Look at that, guys. Look at that bunny with Ada and the little heart. Isn't that, ain't that for y'all, guys? I messed up my windows for y'all. <laughs> my windows are messed up. You can't really see it, guys. It's just that it's that close to the, to the window. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I was like, oh, man. It brings me memories when he was working there. And they loved him. They loved him there. because, But he knew he knows sign language. Um, you know, a bus came from Atlantic City. And they were all um, um, uh, deaf, mute, okay, impairment. And they went to order stuff at the Sabaro Pizza. And the guy that was working at the register didn't know what, what they wanted. So my son was making the pizzas. And he would take care of the register too. But at that day, he was doing the pizzas. And I remember him telling me, Ma, this big bus came from Atlantic City or something or somewhere. Because they toured to different places here, but mostly it's Atlantic City. And he said... That he saw, you know, the people at the register having a hard time, like pointing a number, you know, pointing to the, to the, to the, you know, where the menu is. And the guy, the other kid, because they were kids, they were 14 and 15. 
Uh, 16, I guess, yeah. Yeah, about, no, 15, because 16 and 17 and 18, he did the ship. And then he uh, signed himself into uh, infantry over, and he went overseas two times. So, guys, um, yeah, I, I, if it, it, it came back into my mind, and I just, I, I was going to keep going, guys, you know, because he lives in Florida, and sometimes you think about the things that you, you know, you, you did, um, you know, before with them and whatnot, and how you used to, uh, bring him and take him. He did buy a little car once he turned 17, uh, yeah. Uh, my scientist, his, he was very, he's very responsible. So I did sign that he can, you know, have my permission and whatnot. Oh, I'll take care of the consequences. <laughs> because I know he was very reliable. And he pur he saved money. He purchased a, a nice car. And eventually he sold it because he already had plans to enlist. I didn't know. But he did. And um, it's a blessing. I have my son still, you know. Many, many don't have, wasn't that fortunate. And my heart goes to all of them. Because even though mine came back, um, I, I still think about all the things they, they, I mean, my two, I have two. I have two military infantrymen. Um, but you think about the hardships that they went through, okay? And um, the letters you receive and the packages you sent. And, and, you know, it just comes right back to you. So I said, let me park over here because I'm not even going to go in there. I'll probably start crying. So, guys, um, we're going to boondock here tonight, okay, guys? We're going to boondock here tonight. So, let me show you guys what's out there because, you know what? I'm not going to show you just the gas station. I can get out. I can walk. I could do what I want to do. So, there is a, a stealthy van right there. There is more vehicle. Whoa, whoa. Can you hear the wind, guys? It's the, all these, the white van over here is another. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, my oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, guys. Uh, this is it, guys. So, Ada is going to spend the uh, night here. What do you think? Oh, look at the moon, guys. Look how beautiful. It's a half a moon. Half a moon. Oh, my goodness. The wind is whipping. Oh, look at this. I even tore some, 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 some tree branch or something. Just, just tag them along with me. So, yeah, guys. This is it, guys. So, Ada is going to be here. Okay, for the night, so enjoy, let's see what happens guys.